Alrighty, so I'm not sure where to go here. Maybe we, we just need to go where, um... Uh, whatchamahoozy is... What's his name again? Uh, dickhead? Uh, smartass? Uh, fucker? Uh... Hosea! Hosea, of course. Of course. Of course. That's all I can really think of. I think we're supposed to go in here. Wait, I hear someone talking. We gonna eavesdrop this shit? We should eavesdrop this shit. Oh shit. Hmm. So Alf's become the new emperor. The remaining rogress have all fallen into his hands, it seems. That's bullshit! What about are you serious? He'll likely find the path to the Holy Land, as inscribed in the Meridian Bible. If that should happen, Hozone pollution will only get worse. <laughs> he may be a child of Esau, but he's still just another pathetic common race child. Growing up in these Hozone polluted lands, it's no wonder he was led astray by Real's law. I, too, belong to that pathetic common race. <laughs> I thought you left that behind you. Without Hozone, the people of the common race will all perish. But with the dragon gem you got from the divine race, you're safe as can be. Hmm. Now that makes a lot more sense. We had best turn our attention to eliminating the child of Isa. Hmm. It does seem that Lark has become suspicious of us. Our best option now is to take care of Alf and wait for a new child of Esau to appear. I will use code control to brainwash Lark. Well, too late now. If that fails, we can use some other means to dispatch him. What do you think? Hmm. All right. I knew those two were in on something. But what are they talking about? If we can't live without Hozone, imagine those law isn't meant to save the human race after all. I knew it. What do you mean, Rithia? Do you know something? The humans that Imaginal speaks of, that may only refer to the divine race. Hmm. That makes a lot more sense after what Hosea said before. How he almost said divine race. So it would only save the ones that were alive a thousand years ago, not the actual common race, which is the people. So the common race will all be killed. Pretty much. So, fuck. Imagino actually sucks. That's crazy. There's only a handful of the divine race left. Over 90% of the people on this planet are common race. So the divine race would become dominant. I never pieced it together before, but if this is true, we've got trouble. Let's discuss this later. If we stay in Bennett Nash any longer, who knows what'll happen. Let's get back to the light ship. Yeah, before we get caught. Okay, time to hit the road. I don't feel like getting caught right now, but holy shit! Oh my god, really? Walk out, walk like five steps, and uh, something happens? Huh? What? You think I didn't notice you eavesdropping on us? You won't take us without a fight. Now we know. You were working together all along, weren't you? Once we tell the director about this... <laughs> The director. Huh? What's so funny? Our dear director is not in office anymore. She's left her disc behind, too. What? What the? When Batrachides was attacked by the Imperial Army, my subordinate killed her and took it back for us. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> I never asked for your forgiveness. I don't need the likes of you. I'm just here to teach that 
disobedient little child of Issa how to behave properly. It is only a child of Issa that can choose a law. You can't manipulate him that way. As one of the divine race, you should agree to the manipulation of Locke's code. If we have the ability to control Locke, then our race can be saved. But what about us? If you were part of the common race and... Do not concern yourself with me. Now, be the obedient little puppet you deserve to be. I'm sorry, Lark. I didn't know about any of this. Ah, oh, Diva. Just look what you've done. Heretic. I won't let you get away with this. Lark, run back to the light ship. Got it. After them! They're getting away! Rippy isn't waking up! This must be that code control brainwashing they were talking about. That damn bastard. It's likely the same as Gula's curse. And the only way we got rid of that was because of Riffia. Hmm. So if we can analyze the code like we did before, we should be able to get her to wake up. Yeah, but who's going to do that? Unfortunately, the only person that can see which code was overwritten is the diva, Riffia. Ugh. What the? Lark! Look at Simma's dragon gem! It's glowing. If you want to save the diva, go to the ancient tower I felt. Lark, are you okay? You look like you're off in your own little world. I heard Simma's voice. He said we must go to Seifelt if we want to save Riffia. The tower where Papi Dusagu was? Is there something else there that can help us? Well, we don't have any other leads. I guess we just have to trust Simma. Saving those in need is the number one rule for a hero. If we're going to save Riffia, I don't think we can afford to ignore any clues that come our way. You're right. Let's get going. Well, I trust Simma. I think he is trustable after all this time. We've been hanging with that guy, so I guess we're heading for the Zyfelt, um... Uh... Tower thingy. God damn it. Freaking hate. Uh. Uh. God. How did I forget his name? Ignacy. A dickhead. So we gotta go back in this tower again. Which is kind of annoying because we've already been in it. But. Oh well. Uh. How do I land again? Right here. Do I need to heal at all? No. Alright, let's head for this tower now, and we will try and find out what's wrong with Riffia, because... Did they take her out? Yeah, they did. Huh. <sighs> so much stuff is happening now, it's like, exciting. Yeah, I will say I was enjoying this project a lot more than Terranigma. Just because, like, I feel like a lot more happens in this game. I, f I get more into the story. Just, I love this game. I love the characters and everything. Well, we're here. Now what? Is Simma not telling you anything? Nope. I haven't heard him say anything since last time. Last time we were here, I don't remember seeing anything like that. We'll just have to search the place and see if we can find anything. Okay, let's get going, Lark. Okay. 
I don't even remember the second run in this place, so uh, forgive me if I'm like lost. Crap, get the fuck out of my. Ah. I went the wrong way. No, Earth Die, please. Thank you. I probably should attack that wind thing again. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, he's just using water quickening. Not that big of a deal. Ready for battle. I'll just I, I'll just spam your ass up. There. Have fun. He's not gonna live after that. Oh, they must have increased the experience in this place. It's it's higher, definitely, definitely higher. Cause there's no way at level 50 I'd be gaining 1,000 experience. But you know, that's cool. <sighs> What's wrong, Leslie? Uh, nothing. Thinking about the director? Huh? Sorry, I should have planned the ceasefire out a little better. Don't be silly, Lark. It's not your fault. Shelly was killed by Ignacy and Adele. Leslie. Don't look at me like that. Unless you want me to fall for you. Uh, sorry, you're not really my type, but sure. What? <laughs> Just joking. Let's do what we can to help Riffia now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Alright, that's kind of random, but sure, why not? But yeah, I'm sorry. I would, but not my type. Oh well. I'm sure a lot of my my male viewers would love to. Just just go to them. Uh I guess holy ladder? That's all I can really think of to go. I would think the top is where I need to go. This is not the top. Is it control room? Yeah. Oh, I guess it is. I thought uh, control room was this room, and I thought the holy ladder place was the next room. Ooh, I see shiny things right here. What's this? What is it, Rastin? Huh? Is this a rogress code? A rogress code? What's that kind of thing doing in a place like this? Let me see. What on? What? Why the serious look? This isn't a rogress code. This is code manipulation data for making a rogress. Say what? No way. Making a rogress? What? There's data here on experiments to convert humans into rogress. Wait. The Rogress are humans? Wait, what? So the Rogress used to be human? Even Sima? Judging by this, yes. Well, shit. I'm just like kind of mind fucked everywhere now. That's impossible. Maybe. But we should probably hope it's true. What do you mean? A lot of the experiments done here are about analyzing and converting codes. If that's true, then we might be able to save Rivia. Aha! Uh -huh. I get it! Wait, it says this machine is a code dive type. That means... Right. This can analyze and convert codes by encoding a person's consciousness, then inserting that into a body to be analyzed. So we encode our consciousness, and then dive into Riffia's? What is this, uh, Artinelico? <laughs> Can we even do that? We should be able to... I don't even know if that's how Artinelico's diving works, but it sounds like it. But if we all enter Riffia's consciousness... We need someone to control the device. I'll stay here and handle that. Okay, thanks. Let's give it a try. I 
actually think I remember this part now. And I'm actually Be looking forward to it. Her code's been overwritten, so her consciousness is extremely unstable. What the? The dragon gem is glowing. Well, here we go. Where are we? Well, we should be inside Riffia's consciousness. This looks like Lascard, though. Huh? The Lascard Skywalk, where the Divine Race currently sleeps. Well, she is part of the Divine Race, so she's probably been here. This has to be it. I know. I came down to the surface from here. If Rivi is in the Divine Race, I guess it makes sense she has memories of it too. Well, we'll find out the answer when we wake her up. Let's see if we can find the overwritten code. Oh, sounds good. I love the friggin' music. Goddamn, so good. Wow. Of course, memory has to be like gray or like brown. A grayish brown kind of color, sure. So I guess we'll head down this way. Hmm. Can we open any of these doors? Oh, looks like we can't. Good stuff. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> Riffia. <laughs> huh? What? Why? Because you're both encoded now. Of course you can't touch each other. It's like she doesn't even notice us. Who are you? Huh? She can see Lark? Why? You look like someone I really care about. Gee, thanks. I can't remember his name. But he's a mercenary. Well, you're right there. Why? Nice sliding animation there. Oh my god, I'm glad I saw that. The lullaby put her to sleep. You'll never be able to see her again. Ever. Are you sure you want to do this? If you become a rogress and remove all the ozone pollution, you'll never be human again. Rogress? So is he one of the Rogress? You may lose all your memories, forever. But for us to live on Fulheim again, one of us must become Rogress. If that's the case, then I, Sim of the Liberator of the Noir 12, should be the one to do it. Oh, so he's Sima. In human form. Oh, Hardo. Seal. Please take care of Riffia. She's our only daughter. What the fuck? What? Sima is Riffia's father. What was that all about? It looked like Riffia's mom and dad. Is that part of Riffia's memory too? Something seems out of place. Yeah, weren't they talking about Sima? You think they're discussing the Rogress Sima? What's going on here? Can you not like piece that together? I mean, they were talking about him becoming Sima. His name, his code name was Sima. And he's Riffia's father. Huh. Riffia's father is a, a friggin' rogress. Holy crap. Get out of my way. There's still time. I have to stop them from doing something so stupid. No, I can't let you pass. Don't trample on the will of the twelve brave warriors of Noir. They've decided to give up their lives for us. They did more than anybody to save us. Why did something like this happen? Huh. Twelve warriors of Noir. I wonder. Twelve warriors... So many fell dragons advancing toward us. Who knows how long the cradle will last? 
We have the 12 brave warriors of Noir to protect us. I'm sure they can save us. I, I hope so. Still love this music. So good. <laughs> 